Alrighty, so on to trying things. On a random little side note, something else that I got when I was at the Asian Supply Store. It's in this really nice box. I got myself a set of chopsticks. Now, I probably, I already have some chopsticks that I use on a regular basis, um, but these are so pretty. I fell in love with them as soon as I saw them. So I bought myself a nice set of chopsticks to go along with my tea set and my Neko Neko uh, drink, drink glasses, drink, <laughs> drink glasses. Um, so yeah, on to the trying of the video. So I guess the first thing I'll do is the Hello Panda. So this is already opened by my boyfriend. Um, all right. So they come in this little like, pink package. And from what the box says is they are cookies filled with strawberry cream. Sorry, that was my phone going off. And from the box, it looks like there's like little pandas printed on the cookies. See if you can see that. It's so cute. I can't quite make out what he's doing, but it is so cute. Alright, so here we go. Itakimas. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not very strawberry flavored. I think mainly because I was expecting like really, really strawberry. Yeah, I don't even want to read the back of the ingredients, but they're not bad. Not bad. Oh, I ate it without showing you what it looked like. He's rollerblading. He's a rollerblading panda. <laughs> so cute. Definitely good. I'll probably buy those again. Okay, on to the next item. Let's do... Okay, one of the few English words on this, it just says Korean candy. And then when you look at the little bitty pieces, it says coffee candy. So anything coffee flavored usually gets my attention. I love coffee. Oh, it struggles really. I can't open it. Oh. I got lipstick all over my fingers, but I did not open it. Why won't this bag open? Stop and get some scissors. Okay, back with reinforcements. Now we can defeat the bag. <laughs> okay, so hopefully the smaller bag inside of this bag is easier to open and I won't need scissors for it. Okay, good. So this is not a Japanese, but a Korean coffee candy. I don't know what their coffee tastes like in Korea, but yeah, that's the only thing that's English on the wrapper. It almost tastes like ginger, like ginger candies, how they're kind of spicy. That's almost what it tastes like. I don't know if I like these, because I like ginger, but mm -mm. I don't know if I like this ginger, kind of like I'm expecting coffee. A little disappointed, sorry, I'm gonna go off camera and spit this out. Okay, down to the next one. So, this one, super colorful, and it just says Japanese cookies, um, manaka, tenke, tenki? Um, yeah, there's not much English on it. So, these are Japanese. Okay, that package was easier to open. Now, there's different kinds of cookies inside here. I don't know, maybe they'll say. Like, there's a pink one. And then there's this one that has 
something right there in the corner. I'm not sure what that is. I meant to like give you an idea of what its flavor is. There's a yellow one, a blue one, and I really like. I keep you can not tell. I would never get out of packing. It has like this like maple leaf on it. It looks really pretty. All right, and then there's one more. It's like this. It looks like there's a mango on it, and so I'm kind of excited if it's like a mango cookie. Ah, oh, that's just, that's awesome. So, we have five different types of Japanese cookies to try. So, the first one I'll go ahead and try since I have a good enough idea. I think it is mango. We will see. Oh, it's actually crispy. Mmm. Okay. So, it's got like this, like, fruit filling with a crispy cookie on the outside that's definitely some sort of like mango or mm. interesting flavor interesting flavor to say the least um I'm gonna save the one with the leaf on it last we'll go with the pink one um it looks like if you can't really make it out on the packaging because the lights, because of these little like flowery things, maybe it has like flower taste. Kind of a little hesitant. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet. Whatever it is, it's super sweet. I kind of like it. that one is. That was really good. If it isn't for like flower flavor, that's going to make me like a little bit even more, I think. <laughs> okay, so my makeup and more, or at least my lipstick is probably going to be all over my face by the end of this video. On to the yellow one. Again with this one, there's no real indication what flavor it is, but I have to say it's really cool that like on the cookie it has, um, I don't know if it's kanji or a different symboling. Mm. 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 I don't know what that is. They're so dry. It's like a brown color. It's sweet. But I can't quite pinpoint what that sweetness is. Hmm. Two left. <laughs> so this one is the one that has that little like symbol on it. And then the cookie itself has like this little like flower on it. I don't know if you can see that. You're kind of like leaving a little bit of dust in the air. <laughs> I'm not sure what this one is. It's almost like an orange color. It has kind of a nutty taste. If someone knows what these flavors are, please tell me because I really like these. The mango or the yellow one on the very beginning was not my favorite, but I am really pleasantly surprised with all the rest of these. So here's my favorite one with my favorite look to it. Look at the cookie. It's got a leaf on it. It looks so pretty. Oh, and then on the other side, it has like this little star imprint. It's so pretty. Hmm. Again, it's kind of like that darker filling. And I can't figure out what that sweetness is. I guess I need to try and translate some of the stuff on there and figure out what those flavors are, but they're really, really good. So that was our five different Japanese cookies. Let's see. I've got shrimp crackers. I might as well go ahead and get this one out of the way, right? The one that I'm probably not going to like. And they're spicy flavor. So, hmm. I'm going to at least try and find a country of origin. 
Korea. Okay, so this is a Korean snack. Oh, such a fishy smell. Oh, it smells like Captain D's or like Papa John's. Like when you just walk into one of those restaurants. Oh, oh, it's so shrimpy. It tastes like shrimp. Like really, it tastes like fried shrimp. It's so crazy having something crunchy like this that you just eat fully and it tastes like shrimp. You almost expect to have like a tail coming off. Mm. And I have to say I'm not mad at these, they're pretty good. I could actually snack on these. And they're not very spicy. They're supposed to be spicy spicy. <laughs> they're supposed to be spicy flavored. But they're not really that spicy, but they're really shrimp flavored. And I really like that. It's not bad. Okay. On to the next thing. I have got more Japanese candies. I believe these are Japanese. There is not even the remotest, remote remotest. There is not one English symbol on here. I want to say it looks Korean. Maybe someone let me know in the comments below if it's Korean or Japanese. I want to say that it looks Korean. I'm excited because there's like different grape flavors on that one. And then I also have Pocky and I found a matcha flavor. So I think I'm going to save the hard candies for last. And I'll go ahead and do the Pocky. It's already open it. And just to preserve the Pocky from breaking. I've had Pocky before. A friend of mine let me try their like chocolate Pocky and it was really, really good. And I've always seen matcha things, but I've never been able to try it. So I guess this is the best way to try it. I just love anything green. Oh my God, I just love anything green. So it's green. I had to get it. You know, I don't know. If it's just me, but it almost tastes the same as the chocolate. Like, I don't have really mm, a discerning taste to it. Mm. I ate just some of this, <laughs> some of the icing off of it. I kind of get that. I've never had matcha before, so I don't know what flavor to look for, but green tea cream pretty good. I am mad at it. <laughs> Alright, last we have some different candy flavors. Now this is one that has no English on it. So, I'm going to have to use the pictures as a way to kind of discern what the flavors are. Let me just like, rip it off. So, we're going to start with the orange. Oh, and they're smaller. So that's good. Mmm. And they're surprisingly chewy. Really chewy. Wait. I think this is gum. It kind of has a gum consistency. But. Like that really weird gum that. Kind of starts to disintegrate in your mouth. I'm gonna swallow it because it was really disintegrating, but that's the orange. It has a pretty orange taste. And then I'm guessing this one is strawberry. Yeah, I think this is gum. Oh yeah. I almost much harder. And then that's chewy. This is gum. It's really good. Well, now that I've confirmed that it's gum, I'm not going to swallow it anymore. Mm. Mm. For the sake of the video, I'm going to spit it out so I can continue to try the other three flavors that we have. So, the other one that I have looks like 
it is just regular like braid. Really like some people say that there's no difference in like grape to muscadine flavor, but These almost taste more like muscadine. And that's a flavor combination they're not afraid to play with over there. Like, I've seen some different muscadine flavored things. And it just disintegrated, so I'm just gonna swallow it. Okay, so this one is the green grape, or maybe muscadine flavored for this one. Mmm. This is muscadine flavor, and the last one was great. This has more of like the earthy taste of a muscadine. It's really good though. Mm. See, what I'll probably be doing at the end of the video is just eating all of these together, like not even discerning what flavor, it's just eating them all. <laughs> Chewing them in one big massive gumball. So this is supposed to be lemon flavored. I've never had lemon flavored gum really. So I'm kind of excited. I love lemon. I can just eat a lemon and like cut it in half and just eat that and it's fine for me. Definitely lemon flavor. Mm. Yeah, seeing the kanji down here, I think this is Japanese. It's really good. Or crazy flavored gum. It's pretty good. All right, I think that's all of our snacks to try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more like this, please like and comment um, down below and let me know what other videos you'd like to see. And yeah, that's Allison. This is Allison from Craft Alley signing out. Thanks, guys. Bye.